maniacs that can't be with the normal people and there are some innocent people put in prisons. How will they be able to choose either to leave prison to stay 3D or stay and go 4D? Those beings who are imprisoned on this planet uh, wrongfully will have the choice to do what they want. Those people who are imprisoned for just reason will be given the opportunity to be healed. If they refuse healing, um, chances are they won't be permitted to go cause more trouble. I'm not entirely sure what the whole process is there, but um, they're not about to unleash murderers on society or rapists or anything like that. Yeah, definitely not. We're not gonna. We're not going to uh, make such such a foolish mistake there. And yes, they um, do have ways of telling for real whether someone is innocent or guilty. It's not a he said, she said thing like it is down here. Yeah, and you know, it's it's also a difference of you know determining what the person is actually responsible for. Those that are like serial killers, rapists, that kind of thing are, you know, in a totally different class versus somebody that stole a loaf of bread to feed their family. Or somebody who's been put away for 20 years smoking pot or something like that. Um, There are no personal laws governing um, personal use of intoxicants of any variety in the Galactic Federation of Planets. Yeah, it's it's kind of like, you know, that golden rule. They don't punish victimless crimes. Right. I heard you mention that the Galactic Federation of Planets has its own biospheres. Are they also going to transport people to the new 3D planet, or is that only the Andromedans? Um, that's only the Andromeda Council. Um they're going they're the ones that are going to be handling the uh, transport of people in the biospheres. Um, some of the Federation might assist in transporting people from the surface to the biospheres, but as far as transporting people in the biospheres, that's solely on the uh, shoulders of the Andromeda Council. Do you have a personal replicator in your home? In my human home? No. That would be uh, useful. That would be very useful. I probably would not need to work outside the home if I did have a personal replicator. So, no, I don't. An article is stating that American nuclear industry is having trouble to expand and some nuclear power plants are having trouble and even facing being shut down. You guys have said that transition to 4D will need to clean up all the nuclear material on planet Earth. Is what this article reporting part of the nuclear clean-up efforts between Earth's good people and the positive ETs. At this point, I doubt that. I think it's probably more likely that the uh, article is trying to spur fear porn and fear around uh, nuclear disasters. Uh, How about the nuclear plants all around the world? Are those eventually going to be shut down too? Yes. Yes. Nothing nuclear will remain. There are a lot of predictions of up coming earth disasters from mild solar flares disrupting electricity to as bad as everything burning what can we actually expect you can expect uh, odd weather maybe snowstorms when they're not supposed to be maybe uh, hot days when they're not supposed to be um other than that not really a whole lot if you're like me and you you're electromagnetically sensitive and you get headaches you might be able to expect some more headaches and well, shares might go up in some headache medicines. Despite all the people trying to terrify you into manifesting a, uh, an X-class or extinction-class CME, it's, it's not going to happen. There's plenty of ways to uh, redirect that. Sure, some of the smaller ones get through, but they're, you know, at most maybe they'll knock out the, the grid in some places for a few days. Kind of like what happened on the eastern seaboard a couple in 2005, I think it was. It's not a big deal. Yeah, You'll I, survive. I, yeah, I can't emphasize this enough. There will be no mass casualty or catastrophic events anywhere on the planet. 
And your tech toys will survive at least up until transition. Your cars will keep running. If the world is transforming to 4D and the people who want to stay 3D have to leave, does it mean that 3D things on Earth will vanish and not sustain 3D life? Well, that's what Toic says. Um, as far as I know, the things that we require for life will remain, yeah. along with uh, things that we invest a lot of emotional and spiritual energy into. For instance, uh, the stuff that I knit is probably going to persist because I do that with love and I do that with caring and I put a lot of energy into that. There won't be a 3D Earth. It'll be a 4D yeah. Earth. It'll be a 4D Earth and... Basically, from what I understand, from what I've been told by a solar photographer up in the Galactic Federation of Planets, he said what people will see in 3D is something very similar to what we see of gas, gaseous planets like Jupiter and a couple of the other planets in our solar system. And he said basically why we see the gaseous planet Jupiter here in 3D is because it is a 3D placeholder for a higher dimensional planet. In the higher dimensions, Jupiter is inhabited and is just another planet, you know, like here on here on Terra. I will state that many showers got into it and are in it honestly in that they have honest good intentions and are trying to do good work. And I can applaud that Unfortunately, I would I don't agree that channeling is the way to do that. I think it's very it's a very harmful practice personally and uh in terms of getting across information, it could be um it beca- can become very easy for well-intentioned people to become co-opted into something that they didn't agree to or into something that if they knew the full extent of the truth that they wouldn't support. So yes, there's a lot of honest, well-intentioned, well-meaning people who do it. That doesn't mean that it's safe to do. That doesn't mean it's a good idea. And that doesn't mean that just because they have some truth in there that the whole thing is God's honest truth. Be careful. Be very careful with that. That is a main form of warfare perpetuated and perpetrated by the Galactic Federation of Light, which is known to be a reptoid front. They're presented as positive messages, and they're they're from completely negative and evil forces. And this is specifically, you know, a good part of the reason why the Federation and the Andromeda Council outright ban channeling and do not permit their members to participate in it. A spoonful of sugar makes bad medicine go down. They have to include some truth, or nobody would ever pay it any attention to similar, you know, aspects for the Federation. Um, when it comes to the financial aspects of things, we're Switzerland. We're neutral. <laughs> we don't have monetary systems. We don't have economic systems that come anything close to monetary systems. We understand this monetary system because it is based on a monetary system that comes from the reptoid planets in the Orion constellation, but we're you know, staying completely neutral in, you know, in respect to the financial system. We're here to help the people, and helping the people does not involve perpetuating a control system. What is the main difference between the third density and the fourth density? Um, The real difference is consciousness. In fourth density, you can pretty much instantly create uh, what it is that you think. Whatever your thoughts are, you manifest almost instant. Well, it'll be almost instantaneously. Uh, so there is a, a major degree of responsibility in dealing with that. Also, in fourth density, we become more of a group mind. Um, in fourth density, we're all telepathic. In other words, everybody can read each other's minds, which means you have to be real. You can't have hidden agendas because people will see right through you. Also in fourth density, uh, we all become clairvoyants. We'll be able to see energy fields, see life forms, um, which means that if you're hiding something, it'll be seen instantaneously. Um, They've also said that in fourth density, when we move into that, our court systems will change. There's still a a positive and negative. That exists all the way to the fifth density, where you will experience, to a a strong degree, the, uh, the dualities. In, in, in our everyday environments. What will happen is you'll have a judge and you'll have 
uh, a jury who will all be clairvoyants, and they will read the energy field and know who's telling the truth and who isn't. And everything will be judged based on that, will be based on energy, um, not on words. In fourth density, when you walk by somebody or you touch somebody's hand, you will instantly know everything about them. Again, there will be no hidden agendas. Everybody will really have to be real. And if they choose to have and continue to play out their agendas, um, whatever those are, then they will have the space. But you will know, uh, or people will know, um, I will know who we're dealing with instantaneously. Is there an economy? And what is the basis no. of their economy? Essentially, everybody is given exactly what it is they need to evolve. Um, there are many different races. Each, each race has their own uniqueness about them based on their particular belief systems. And my understanding is that everything is a belief system. As far as the Andromedan culture, uh, children go to school, uh, or the Andromedans, they go through a birth process just like we do, those that are physical. They go to school for anywhere from 120 to 150 years. They're taught all of the major sciences and arts. Uh, there would be equivalent to PhDs or doctorates or masters, whatever you want to call it, in all of the arts. It is at that point, once they're done with all of that education, that they choose what it is that they wish to do or to evolve. And they can change their mind any time they want. The whole purpose is the evolution of the soul um, and life. They're given whatever it is that they need to do that. Um, I'm not aware of crime, anything along those lines. Their whole focus is on education and not distraction. Um, if it's something that is not educational, from what I've observed, it's just simply something they're not interested in. Um, they just have it within them to constantly evolve on, a, on an educational as well as a spiritual level. And whatever they need is there for them to use. I'm not aware of um, uh, them having to pay anything for it. No. We'll find that there's not a lot of reason to be prejudiced anymore. Yeah, um, you know, what we're hoping and, you know, intend is to bring equality to everyone, whether they're gay, straight, bi, anywhere in between. In the positives um, and, you know, other aspects of the Federation, sexuality, regardless of, you know, what sexuality that is, is like a total non-issue, a non-thing. People are not judged by their sexuality. They're only defined by who they define themselves as, you know, by their character. By their actions and their character and how they comport themselves in society. It doesn't yeah. matter a whit if they're gay or straight. And in fact, most people don't even have a concept of sexual orientation up there, with the exception of certain cultures which tend to be strictly monogamous, or sorry, strictly uh, heterosexual or strictly uh, homosexual. There are sometimes also cultures who have multiple genders, and those interesting situations and relations can arise. Most of us do not ask the question, are you straight or gay? Instead, it's, are you free Saturday night? Yeah, up there, it's recognized that your sexuality is something you're born with. It's genetic. And many it's are actually bisexual. I would yeah. say actually uh, pansexuality or bisexuality is the norm rather than the exception. And many cultures also have open relationships in such that um, sexual relationships are not restricted simply between uh, married spouses, but are something that is shared between very close friends and people who are friends of the heart. And you don't see a lot of jealousy. You don't see a lot of possessiveness. The concept of cheating is virtually non-existent. 